Hi everyone, welcome to week 8 of Advanced Computers 1. Um, we are finishing up Chapter 3 this week. So this is where we pick up with the topics of enhancing table data and then the final topic of this particular chapter which is creating and completing mail merge. Um, mail merge is, is a great tool and we'll, we'll get into that a little bit more um, later in the video. Um, but first let's finish up looking at the data table information. Uh, we are actually picking up with slide 14 this week. So on slide 14 we're, we're kind of just finishing up the idea of what you can do with tab table data. Um, and so they're going to go on and talk about the different things that you can do with borders, um, lines, the line weight, um, so that you can make things basically look different, so that you can highlight certain things. Uh, maybe you want to highlight all the salespeople's names, or um, you want to change the um, the border um, that goes around the the top um, versus the ones that go on the side and things like that. So it's going to just show you all the different ways that you can make changes to that um, that table. Um, and then finally, it's also going to look at how you can add captions to a table. So a caption is um, a numbered item, basically, um, where you can just say, hey, you know, go and look at this and it'll tell you a little bit more type of thing. So that's what we're talking about when we talk about captions. Now the final topic in this chapter is mail merge. And mail merge is awesome. Um, I've actually used mail merge quite a bit. Mail merge is basically a feature that allows you to combine the contents of, of two different files. Um, so basically allows you to send personalized messages to different recipients. So they're going to go through and talk to you about how you can create a mail merge email um, so that it looks like everybody is getting their own separate email. So that's the whole idea behind it. You want it to, it's personalization. So it's all about showing um, how to do personalization. Now um, you can do it with a document um, like this, which is just obviously a letter. Um, I've used it quite often um, to create mailing labels. So mail merge is another thing that you can um, use to create mailing labels. So like Christmas cards, um, wedding invitations, graduation invitations, things like that. You can create a mail merge document. If you keep a list of all the different folks that you want to invite to, some, to something, you know, you keep a list in, in an Excel document and then you can always um, use that to create your mail merge document. So they're going to go through and talk about how to obtain a data source. So you have to have the data source that has the different pieces of information that you might want to put into your mail merge document. So for example, on this one, this particular data source has first name, a last name, an address, a city, a state, and a zip. So, so the basic things that you might use to address something. Um, and so then once you've um, obtained the data source, you know, decided what you want to use and, and what pieces you're going to use, then you're going to determine what you're going to put in. So from your document that you're going to be merging your list into, you're going to go through and um, identify specific things. So first you have to identify what, what data you're going to be putting in. Um, you can sort filter, you know, maybe you only want to send it to certain people, just the people who live locally or, you know, whatever, um, and it allows you to do that. And then once you've created the data source, then you're going to go in and you're going to select a merge field. So you're going to decide where you want those different fields to go. So maybe it's going to say, dear so-and-so, and you might choose their title, like Mr., Mrs., Doctor, whatever. So dear, Doctor, blah. And so you would choose that from your, your data source. So remember, our data source has labels. Whoops, let me go back a couple of slides. Remember up here, here's our labels. We have title, first name, last name, address one, address two, blah, blah, blah. So when we go to our actual document, we would put in there whatever we want. So it might say dear, and then you would put the merge field of title, last name whatever. And then you can see how address and so on. So everything is going to be exactly how you want it to look. 
and then once you actually complete the mail merge, then it's going to populate that information for each record into your document. So it's, again, it's, it's probably one of the things that I like best about Word is the ability to do this mail merge. So if you're, uh, as you're going through and finishing up Chapter 3, if you have any problems or questions with it, um, just let me know and have a great week.